Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Generations Part 10. Um, in this part we will be aging Belle up, she will be turning into a toddler and also um, Elsa is pregnant once again. She doesn't know it yet but she is because we heard the sound at the end of the last part which said that uh, their baby making worked. Jack has those baby making skills. Um, she's in a good mood so that means it's time to take care of mummy so we're gonna quickly um, clean ourselves up and then um, to do, eat some leftover autumn salad and we'll have Jack throw a party for um, little Belle because I'm excited to see her age up into a teen- uh, not a teenager. What? I'm like talking Sims 3 terms, uh, Sims 4 terms here. Like, I, I don't know if you've heard the news that there's not going to be toddlers in The Sims 4, but I'm kind of already over it because I've seen a picture of The Sims 4 baby and it is the most adorable little thing and I cannot wait. But yeah, there's not going to be toddlers, but I, I was kind of disappointed at first, but now I'm just like, those babies are so cute, I don't even care. Like, I'm happy to have those babies. Um, so we're going to have a birthday party and it's going to start at 1p, no, 2pm. And it's going to be casual attire and we are going to invite Simon, Christoph, Cassidy, Carly, Catriona, Peter, I think that's all our close friends. So yeah we're just gonna invite those. This is kind of more for the adults I suppose because obviously Belle is only a baby and doesn't have any friends. So yeah, um, it's kind of more of a party for the parents definitely. I just want this little cutie to age up and to see what she looks like and this thing is really creeping me out. I definitely want to turn him into a real person to see what he looks like. Who knows, maybe we'll um, get them to date because you can date your imaginary friend when they age up because they age up with you. Don't play computer games, how about you chat with someone? This way we get to know more people, which is fine by me. And you can answer your phone. Jack's party is starting soon. A little setup might be in order. We are gonna buy some birthday balloons for outside the door so that people know in our brand new house that this is where we live and uh, it's someone's birthday. So we're gonna do that. Um. Mm -hmm get these ones whoa they're big um yep we want two of those cute my parents used to do this for my birthdays i think they yeah i have i had them this year like we we get so many balloons on our birthdays our pa my parents just always do it i don't really know why like i love it though and waking up and seeing all those balloons you're just like oh my god it's my birthday and I just get so excited. So we're gonna get her this handcrafted birthday cake and go back into live mode and let's get on with this birthday party. Oh, and of course the pervy f uh, ice cream truck comes. Look at our old, little old house and nobody lives here. It's all abandoned but now we have our beautiful big house and uh, I love it so I'm glad that we moved into here instead of having our little tiny baby house Ooh, oh it's not starting until 2 that is not go garbage <laughs> I apologise for my terrible singing that was that even that was probably out of tune because I am that terrible. Why is she practicing the school chair so much? 
I don't understand. Oh, we have a friend. Simon's always the first to arrive. And he brought lobster thermidor. I like Simon. Oh, and Carly's here. Let's go, let's go, um, ask her about her day. And we'll make a silly face. Wealth and riches, that's all that matters to me. Call me any time. No thanks, you're an old lady and I don't want to. Um, we're gonna talk about our family because we've- why do you have blue stockings on? Oh, you're a mermaid! I was like, those just look like stockings, but they're scales. Okay, our best friend's a mermaid. That's cool. I'm fine with that. Jack, ignore that dang phone. And come and pick up your baby. Come and hold her. Is she in a good mood? She is. So come and hold her and then we'll go and blow out her candles. Blow out candles. Bell frost. Let's do this. Let's see what she looks like as a toddler. Come on. Come on guys. Let's do this. Um, I want to get this right first. Whoa, what am I doing? Because I did like a slideshow at the end of my late night um, LP and it was, it turned out amazing. So I kind of want to do it for all my LPs really. Come on guys. Let's do this. Oh, I just missed the birthday bit. I just missed the blowing out of the candles. What? That was silly. Uh, let's watch this cutie pie grow up. Come on, Belle. You can do it. Come on, Belle. Age up. Come on, Belle. Here we go. The days have flown by and Belle is now a toddler. She still needs a lot of caring but can also learn basic skim skills like walking and talking. What she learns at this age will set the stage for future development. Let's have a look at this little cutie. Um, do, do, do. Right, let's see if we can get a better look of her. She's probably, cr yep, yeah, she's cross-eyed right now. Of course she's cross-eyed. And her little nose is like such a little piggy button nose. Oh my goodness, but she is cute if she weren't cross-eyed. So I'm gonna go and um, edit her real quick and I'll get back to you guys in a second. So this is Belle. Um, I did widen her nose a little bit because it was a bit fun funny looking. Um, that is purely because her parents are kind of cartoony looking. So um, it was kind of like super duper tiny so I just widened it a bit that's all I did to her um and changed her hair obviously but she is adorable and I am glad our first child is super cute she is gorgeous I um absolutely love her so yeah that's Belle as a toddler I think she has her dad's hair more than her mum's like it looks kind of like whitey grey kind of like Jack's so I'm guessing she's gonna look more like Jack than her mum um but yeah she is super cute and yup dude why are you wearing a blazer and um shorts that's that's not cool man um Jack what do you need little baby oh and she's also wearing this adorable top that says i love my dad which is so cute everyone's just eating and she's just like oh she's playing with her imaginary friend i guess i'll show this to you guys considering it came with generations um so yeah they're kind of just like dolls that they play with but they're super adorable should they like bite them, talk to them, play with them? 
They're like their best friends. How cute. I can definitely see her growing fond of him, for sure. She's got this moodlet that says, making friends. Playtime with the best friend is boundless joy. Keeping each other happy and in good company. What's this? Look like Belle Frost has taken quite the liking to patterns. Belle Frost should continue to build her relationship with patterns if she likes it. Which we will definitely do. We'll definitely keep playing with patterns, I guess. Because there's no harm in it. They are quite creepy when they start following your sims around, but for the sake of this LP, I think I can live with it. Elsa, can you come and um, do, 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 feed her on the floor? And she is nauseous. So Ella isn't, Elsa isn't, uh, Ella? Why do I call her Ella? Ella isn't feed, I did it again. Elsa isn't feeling so hot. You may want to keep her around the bathroom. That's because she is pregnant, even though she doesn't know it yet. And he just got another charisma skill point or whatever. Who's playing video games at our party? Our boss. Of course it's our boss. <laughs> What's up with her? Oh, she's got a smelly nappy. Um... So we're going to change her dirty diaper. I guess. Let's change that. Because we don't want her toddling around with poo in her pants. Because that would not be nice. I wouldn't like that. I doubt anyone would like that, to be honest. Um, Jack, let's go and put her in a crib because she is cranky. So we'll go put her in a crib. Elsa... You're just constantly eating. Stop eating, woman. Who Who's still here? Oh, look at these two having a slow dance. What a great party. I had a blast. Thank you, kind sir. I'm glad you had a blast. So she is definitely pregnant and she's going to have another baby. Here's hoping it's a boy because Jack wants a boy this time. So who knows, maybe it will be. We shall let fate decide. Wow, what a party. I think I'm all partied out though, bye. Hey, nice party, I gotta go now though. So this dude's staying, Kristoff. Oh no, he's going. For you, he's a weirdo that like, always goes and picks up our baby. We don't want that anymore. Um, Look at her sleep, oh no wait, she's not. She's not run. There we go. She just looked creepy, but now she looks cute. She's adorable. She's so cute. I love her. Um, do, do, do. These two are just flirting with each other again, as they do constantly. Elsa, go use the. No, Jack, go use the bathroom. And you can use the toilet as well. Jack's party was awesome, verging on epic. Sims all around town will be talking about this one for years. Sweet. We got, we threw a great party. Even though it wasn't really ours, it was our kids. But we'll take the credit. I mean, we did throw it. Jack, go and put all these things away. Put away all the leftovers. Because that's good, that's good shit right there. We, we want to keep that for as long as we can because that means we don't have to cook for a while and oh I remember what I wanted to do I want to go into buy mode and I want to buy some laundry things it came with ambitions however this is a family home so I kind of do want a washing machine and dryer so that is what we are going to do. We are going to buy a washer and dryer. Uh, is that a washer? Yeah. And this is the dryer. Yep. So let's let's buy those. And uh, then that means we need a laundry basket in their room. Silly me. How could I think that that came with generations? 
Answer phone. Who's on the phone? <laughs> She's just lolling. Um, the, sure, we'll go to Carly's party. We're kind of tired, but we'll go have a girly night at um, Carly's party. She can have a, um, a night out before she um, knows that she's pregnant again. Do, do, do. He's gonna put away all those leftovers. And Belle's sleeping away. So yeah, we'll we'll go have um oh, I forgot that this was her outerwear. I love her outerwear. It's so cute. Oh good choice. I'm giving myself a pat on the back for choosing that. Because that is adorable. Right, come on, let's go to Carly's party. Let's see what all this is about. Is her house pink? Elsa learned that Carly is rich. Whoa. Whoa. That's like... This is like Barbie mansion house type thing. What? Why do you live in a Barbie mansion? Um, Carly, let's go say hey. Let's go and compliment her pink Barbie house. Because why not? Why... Are you having a pool party in the middle of winter when you don't have a pool? That's a bit bizarre, I have to say. And why doesn't this house have a pool? It's fecking huge. And this guy's just getting into bed. He's like, nope, you know what? Whoa, look at her boobs. She's got huge badonk donks. Alicia. Oh no, they're not that big. I was going to say, I think, I think they're fake. Let's go compliment Carly's home. Oh, look at Elsa freezing her tits off in the freezing cold snow. Sorry, I just said some really inappropriate words um, without even realising it. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll go have some fun. While Jack sits at home watching the baby and watching TV. I guess. Why not? Why is the TV not? Okay, that's weird. That's really weird. Oh well, I'll I'll leave him to that. Uh, let's go see who's here. Do do do. Carly, let's let's dare her to kiss someone. I want her to kiss this guy. I want her to- oh no, she might be his son. Yeah, they're probably related because there's like- oh she's not going to. Well you're boring Carly. A dare has been issued. No, we don't want to do that. I, I was asking you, you weren't asking me. Let's uh, do, 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 um, gossip and we'll also um, share a secret. Did you know that Minzy Cho is filthy rich? rich? I would have never guessed. She is now gossiping about a child that she used to look after. What is going on? It's fun getting to know you. Aww, what a sisterly romance. How cute. Jack, you can go to bed, dude. How's the baby? She's fine, she's asleep. So Jack, go get some rest. It's quite late. Even Elsa's tired and she's she's currently discussing, discussing kelp recipes. I don't know why. We don't really want to turn into a mermaid. Someone's playing the guitar. Let's go watch. Let's go see. Oh, no, we're gonna go vom instead. Oh, and we just fell out with Minzy Cho. Well, you know what, Minzy? I didn't even want to be friends with an eight year old anyway. Oh, it's Alicia who's playing the guitar. She looks like a celebrity. Like. She just ha gives off the demeanour of, yes, I'm a celebrity, I'm famous, 
I'm so famous that I wear sunglasses inside when I don't even need them. That's how you know you're cool. When you wear whoa, 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 Alicia. You just almost made my ears drum bleed. We're gonna head home. Sorry, I know I complimented your party, but not gonna lie, it's kinda sucky. You made us wear swimwear even though you've not got a pool and it's minus four degrees outside. It's not cool, my friend. Not cool. Well, it's actually very cool. Um but um I'm so sad. I I worry for myself that I am such a loser. Like wh why? Why am I such a like why? I just laughed at my own joke. I thought I made it funny, but I don't know. You guys be the judges of whether that joke was funny. Um, but yeah, I think I might end this part here because I'm getting slightly weird and it's 20 past midnight. So I'm probably gonna end this part here because I think sleep deprivation is getting to me and I'll just keep on getting weirder and weirder if I don't stop now and you guys don't want to see that. So I'm going to go and finish this part here. Thank you all for watching. If you like this part, please give a massive thumbs up and I will talk to you all in the next part. I love you guys. Bye.